over a quarter century service uh, uh, to Canova. I don't know how many years, but a long time service, Andy Ratterman. Same is true for Mr. Albert Gonzalez. And our newest but longtime serving person within the school district and now serving as one of its leaders, Vicki Fairchild. I also want to acknowledge and thank my cabinet members who um, daily give their lives to this district to help make it better for kids. Talking about our chief business official, Eric Dill, Kathy Knabel, our, our assistant soup for Ed services, Kevin Keegan, our assistant superintendent for human resources, and person up here on the stage with me, uh, Mr. Andrew Lucha, assistant superintendent for school support community development. Thank you all for I'll be announcing their names as I go along tonight uh, in giving the service awards, but along the uh, wall over there, um, quite looking, quite some kind of a contingent, somebody I don't know, who are, are leaders of each school, presidents of their own corporations, if you will, at each school, and chief executive officers thereof, our school principals. Thank you for all your service, you guys. And I was asked to comment about what, is, what does service mean to me? And quite honestly, I've been thinking a lot about that. I was about ready to close out 46 years in education uh, at the end of this June. Um, then there are days when I feel a little bit sorry for myself because the long journey is about to come to an end as another one begins. And then I went to a service on Sunday for a person uh, who happens to be uh, a deacon in one of our religious institutions. His name is Joe Alvarez, also happens to be a family friend. And he's been in service over 50 years in his, in his uh, current health order of service uh, for this religious affiliation. He also is turning 100 years old in a couple of weeks. And I thought about Joe's service elsewhere. Joe was in the Normandy invasion as a paratrooper in World War II in 1944, providing service to this country to keep it a country. Um, and all of the service that he's provided all of his life since 1919, a year before women earned the right to vote in this country. And I thought, you know what? Quit feeling sorry for yourself. Um, service takes on many forms. And uh, when I think about it, I think of community. I think of building community. And I think about a, a phrase that is used a lot in community organizing. The phrase goes like this, the power is in the relationship. That one by one, we build relationships and we connect with people and they become empowered and they uh, empower others. And really, in a way, that's what this night is about. It's about the service that so many people in this room have given to this district, how it empowers others as it makes the community a better place. That's really what tonight is about. That's really what service is about. And I urge you to keep in mind that that needs to be what service continues to be about. It is one of the things that's made this community of the great community that it is, made our state the great state that it is, the fifth largest economy in the world, and our nation, the nation that it is in this world. All of those things uh, mean a lot more in the looking back and looking forward and wondering and hoping, thinking about what it's going to be for these young people when they grow up and go out into this community. 
it will be a better place if we continue to serve and if they continue to serve and understand and learn what that means in making our communities great. So again, I want to welcome you for being here tonight. Um, I'd like to kind of run through the logistics of what's going to be happening. Some of you have been here before, some of you many times before, but we will be calling up schools. Um, they will line up in this, in this row in order in which they're going to be receiving their awards. There are volunteers over there, volunteers, so raise your hands, and that they will, uh, uh, they will be helping direct people up onto the stage. And if you're having trouble getting up on the stage, get a little wobbly, they will do that too. Um, kind of stand, there's a little spot right here on the stage. We, we made a mark. Okay, if you're in theater, you know, you need to be on your mark. And, um, and uh, stand there while we read a little summary about their, their, uh, what they're being awarded for and recognized for. And then um, they will traverse across the stage where they will receive an award from President Ryan and shake the hands of each board member as they go down to the end of the stage there where they will um, get their picture taken. Is that accurate or not? Yes, thank you. And uh, Philip May from our public information office is down there who will be taking pictures and then they traverse off the stage on the other side. Sounds simple, right? We always mess it up somehow. We'll figure out how we can do that. So that said, I would like to begin by calling the first uh, school up and asking for the second school to sort of get behind them. So the first school up is Bowers Elementary School, followed by Brocker, and then Raleigh. We'll get them to line up as we go in here. And first up, for Bowers School, and I do want to recognize principals, uh, Lisa Blanc, principal of Bowers Elementary School. Are you Lisa? Thank you. Okay. Um, our first student awardee is Jackson Neiman. Jackson? Jackson Neiman is one of those students who you really want in your community. He continuously gets himself involved in what is going on and is always there to lend a helping hand no matter what the job is. Jackson has served on the student council for three years, has been the school mascot, volunteered at PTA book fairs and ice cream sales, and always steps up to cover an empty shift on the ball cart, ball cart safety patrol, or with the lunch helpers. Bowers is simply just a better place with Jackson even around, and we're lucky to have him. Congratulations. Next up is Karina Ramirez Soto. Karina is an all around great person and she acts with integrity in everything she does. She has been an active member of the Bauer Student Council and has taken on the management of the Box Tops program. In addition, she is a re responsible member of the safety patrol and tutor in our lunchtime reading club. She is kind, honest, respectful, and helpful, and is always looking out for those who can't or won't, won't speak up for themselves. She emulates Bauer's ABC vision, achieve, belong, contribute. And we can't wait to see what the future holds for Kaina. Congratulations. And our adult volunteer, uh, Wardy. John Webb. Joan is not only our current PTA president, but for four years she has been a visible volunteer on campus, both in the classroom and at all school events, and her smiling face and gracious manner is appreciated by all. Joan was instrumental in establishing our watchdogs, Dads of Great Students uh, acronym, uh, program two years ago is a Project Cornerstone reader, coordinates our walkathon, and is co-chaired Staff Appreciation Week every year. In addition, she chaperones field trips, works at the book fair, and is one of our favorite substitutes on campus. 
Her dedication to children and staff helps make Bowers an even better place to be for everyone. And we could not do what we do without her reception and talents. Thank you, Joe. Next up is Brocker School and Principal Wayne Leach. And our first student honoree is Woody Freeman. I have to let me brag about you for a minute. Woody Freeman was selected by Brocker for this award because he is kind-hearted and exudes joy. He greets everyone with a smile and inquiries about their day. He brings many students together at recess to play. Students enjoy his spirit and argue to have him in their group. Woody brings kindness and cheer to Brecker, making it a better place for learning. He often cites the words for the Lorax, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, it's not going to get better. Woody helps things be better at Brecker, and we thank him for that. Next up is <laughs> next up is Vivian Reyes. Vivian. Vivian is always striving to make her surroundings a better place. Whether it's helping someone in need, bringing a supportive friend, or lending a helping hand, she has been helping in our community throughout uh, uh, throughout her, through her church and is involved. Uh, excuse me, and is involved with a volunteer dance team that puts on performances for the church community. In addition, she has served as a teacher's aide in Sunday school, helping foster the minds of two to four-year-olds with her gentle and guiding ways. During the holidays, with the support of her church, she has participated in toy drives, wrapped gifts, and served food to those less fortunate. Our community is a better place because of students like Vivian, who take the time to exemplify caring, compassion, and kindness. Congratulations, Vivian. And our Delta Awardee, Brooke Robinson. Brooke, is, Brooke Robinson is a quiet leader who puts in countless of hours of work to help our graduate community. For the past five years, she has volunteered at PTA events and in classrooms. This year, she agreed to lead as our PTA president, a job that is not an easy one. Brooke is a kind, child-focused parent of two boys at Bracker, but has taken up caring for all 354 Bracker students from the moment she steps onto our campus. Brooke never seeks attention and hates to be called out, but we did it anyway. <laughs> we want to recognize her countless hours on campus and long nights from working from home to support Bracker students and their families. Congratulations. Next up is uh, Raleigh School with the principal Brian Lee, and the first student awardee is Ashwin Jaku. I'm, see, it doesn't take long, only three schools in. Alexis Vail, excuse me. In all your years of Raleigh, Alexis Vail has been a valuable member of our school community. She is a hardworking student who enjoys challenges and opportunities for critical thinking, participating in both math Olympian and the science fair. Her positive attitude is contagious, and she loves participating during class discussions. Alexis contributes to our school community by assisting her peers, participating in our buddy program with our specialized academic instruction classes, beautifying campus by picking up litter, and serving as student council representative. She exemplifies what it means to be a safe, kind, responsible Raleigh Eagle. Congratulations. <laughs> and the uh, adult um, honoree tonight who, is, who was not able to be here is Jeff Um Next up is Brian Barwood. 
Elementary School, and Susan Jessup, Susan Jessup Principal. And the first uh, student awardee is Samantha Montezuma. <laughs> Doing what you can to make positive changes in yourself and others is what true leaders are made of. Samantha Montezuma is one such person. Samantha radiates kindness and generosity to all she needs. Her constant smile is contagious, and her dedication towards becoming the best student she can be is inspiring. Samantha also works hard to help her community be safe and harmonious by working with the award-winning Raleigh Safety Patrol. She is truly, I'm sorry, I did say Raleigh? Briarwood. This is why I have to retire, you guys. <laughs> Briarwood Safety Patrol. She is truly a Briarwood gem. Congratulations. Next up is Esperanza Padilla. Esperanza has extra special qualities. She is extremely kind and caring. She is always willing to lend a helping hand to a fellow student or a teacher. Her smile is intoxicating. She is the model of Briarwood Panda positive attitude. This is all the more special because Esperanza has only been part of the Briarwood community for one year. She is such a warm and thoughtful person and has made so many wonderful connections in such a short amount of time. Everyone at Briarwood is so thankful for being given the time to get to know her. Congratulations, Esperanza. And our adult honoree is super easy. <laughs> Sue Rubino is such a valuable part of the Barclay community. She is first and foremost the amazing grandmother of two wonderful boys, Antonio and Vincent. In addition to that, she is a vital member of the Barclay PTA. She volunteers in classrooms, chaperones field trips, and helps at every after-school event, making all feel welcome and ensuring everything is running smoothly so our students have a wonderful time. Sue, thank you for your time, your influence, your sense of humor, and for making Briarwood such a wonderful place to learn and work. And you can have to tell me the secrets later, too. Next up is Central Park and Principal Mike Camstra. Our first student awardee is Kelly Harari. <laughs> Kelly Harari is a self-driven learner who participates at school in every possible way. She not only participates but, in, but collaborates in leading our school's student leadership group. She is here early for safety control and Chameleon, cast. I, I, I stay away from that animal every time I go in the office. It just scares me. Anyway, chameleon. Making the whole school better through dedicated service. Sorry, thank you. Um, she helps others, whether it be uh, translating for newcomer students or assisting younger kids as Buddy or as compost helper. Ellie can be counted on any time an adult, classmate, or a younger student needs a helping hand. And it is an honor to nominate her for this award. Congratulations. <laughs> Next up is Kunwar Gulati. <laughs> it is a pleasure to recommend Kunwar for the Public Schools a Week Award. He comes to school with a smile on his face and ready to tackle the tasks at hand. Kunwa perseveres when something is too hard, asks questions to better understand his work, and is the first to volunteer to help our class. Kunwa is kind and caring to all students at school. Kunwa is, respons is a responsible student leader at Central Park Elementary School. He participates in the weekly chameleon cast, <laughs> recording messages that update our school community on daily events. He serves on safety patrol, assisting with opening car doors to make the drop-off quick and safe. 
He also serves on the student, some student leadership providing ideas that help improve our school. Congratulations, Kim. And our adult volunteer, Jennifer Brinkman. Jennifer is ready to help whenever and wherever she can with a smile and a positive attitude. She is passionate about kids and building our community since the first day Central Park opened. She is often seen on our campus during school hours, volunteering in the office, class, or even chaperoning field trips for any classroom that needs it. She is often seen at evening community events, game night, fundraising events, site council meetings, PTA meetings, etc. This year, being the PTA president, when you meet her for the first time, you tend to gravitate toward her sunny disposition and her generosity. Congratulations, Jim. Next up is Heyman and Principal Kim Wakefield. And our first, our first one to read is Honoree is Santiago Lopez. <laughs> Santiago Lopez is a kind and caring student who goes above and beyond to help those around him. Santiago is always looking for ways to help others, from his peers to his teachers. He's first to offer up assistance and will jump right in and help others without needing to be asked. In the classroom, he's a team player that works well with his classmates. He's an integral part of our class discussions and is always willing to share his ideas. Santiago volunteers his time as a member of both the Heyman Safety Patrol and as a conflict manager. As he continues on from Heyman, he is sure to accomplish great things in all areas of his life. Congratulations, Santiago. And next is Laura Rodriguez. Lauren Rodriguez serves as a peer model to all students surrounding her. She works hard to accomplish any task that comes her way and puts forth her best work every day. She has been involved in safety patrol this year and is also a conflict manager. She is able to balance her academics with her after school sports and excels in both. Lauren shares her knowledge with others by taking part in classroom discussions and assisting peers to understand concepts in various subject areas. We look forward to the successes that she has ahead of her. Congratulations, Mark. <laughs> and our adult, adult volunteer, Bianca Serrata. <laughs> Bianca has served as a PTA board member for years and has held many positions. She has most recently been in charge of fundraising. She has helped raise thousands of dollars in numerous years in a row. She has a brilliant mind and a cooperative spirit. Bianca has spent hours helping to make Heyman a better place for our students, working tirelessly and always behind the scenes. Her hard work and dedication is something to be admired. We cannot thank her enough for all that she's done and contributed to Heyman Elementary. We're truly grateful to her. Next up is Hughes Elementary School and Principal Joe Young. And our first honoree is Sybil Gutierrez Salama. <laughs> Sybil proudly serves as the Vice President of the Student Council, works on safety patrol, and help us smile when you watch how she serves our school community. Sybil consistently demonstrates a genuine love for the school respect for peers and school staff, and care for the social and emotional well-being of everyone. Our school is a better place because of so. Congratulations. <laughs> Next up is Trayvon Vincent. <laughs> it's hard to think of Hughes without thinking of Trayvon and his family and the collaborative giving and community spirit that they bring. Trayvon always comes to school with a respectful, cooperative, and supportive attitude for fellow students and staff members. 
Fremont selflessly supports peers and staff members with any program, project, or initiative that needs his help. Trayvon is involved in the Hughes Safety Patrol, works on our school book fairs, and is always pleasant and helpful to everyone. There is no doubt that he will continue to impact everyone wherever he goes. Congratulations, Trayvon. And our adult volunteer, Chichi Balmonte. The community is delighted to recognize and honor Gigi Belmonte. Gigi is a model of excellence for our Hughes community. Her influence and impact are immeasurable. She has been a longtime member of the PTA, having served for over five years, and is currently serving as the school's PTA president, bringing excitement and engaging events to students, staff, and families. The students, staff, and community are truly grateful for her spirit, care, and love for the school and her countless hours of service. Words can never express the gratitude the Hughes community feels for Gigi. Our next school is Laurelwood Elementary School and Dr. Lori Rogers Principal. First up is uh, student Shuma Miyunaga. You see, he even helps me just now. Shuma Miyanaga is a kind, helpful, and hardworking fifth grade student. He is always the first student to volunteer or ask people if they need help. You can find him participating in many different Laurelwood activities, such as flag football, volleyball, nutcracker, green team, and safety patrol. Shuma is, a highly request, is highly requested by Laurelwood teachers for his translation skills as he helps new students to settle in. Uh, now I understand the help, thank you. <laughs> Shuma is an amazing student with a great smile and a big heart. He truly embodies and models the Laurelwood way every day. Congratulations, Shuma. <laughs> Next up is Shriya Ravnani. Shriya, Shriya Ravnani is, fabulous, is a fabulous fifth grade student who has attended Laurelwood Elementary School since kindergarten. She is a strong all-around student in the classroom. She is full of positive energy and always seems to have a smile on her face. Shriya easily makes friends and makes them feel included. Hope helping others helping anyone in need. She will volunteer for any task, even before she knows what the task entails, and is involved in almost every aspect of student life. She is currently on safety patrol and the volleyball team. Shriya always seems to have a positive word for those who are feeling down or struggling. She is not one to boast about her achievements, but we are very proud to honor Shriya with this Public Schools Week Award. Congratulations. And our adult volunteer, Jenny Chan. <laughs> Jenny has been a long-time parent, parent and volunteer at Laurelwood. She has been a positive force to organize parents and their children to participate in our annual Nutcracker performance, served various posts as a PTA volunteer and board member, and led and organized planning for the fifth grade Colonial Day. Jenny has developed strong communication between her children's teachers, committees, and administration, custodial and office staff. She is the kind of selfless volunteer from which every school could benefit. We greatly appreciate her many contributions to Laurelwood over the past 10 years. Congratulations. Next up is Maine School and Principal Socorro Holmes. Our first student honoree is Olivia Gallegos. 
Cornelia demonstrates excellent citizenship. She constantly cares for others, is helpful to her peers with academic assistance, and collaborates with others on various activities. In addition, as a member of the George Main Student Council and in collaboration with them, Olivia has organized the Bottles and Cans Recycling Project to raise money for the school's recess sports equipment and to raise awareness through a hands-on approach to environmental conservation. Congratulations. Next up is Dylan Jackson. Dylan Jackson is an exemplary student in many ways and has been contributing to the community of Georgia Maine since he entered kindergarten. Dylan is always the first to volunteer when there is a need and regardless of the task, completes it with a happy heart. Dylan always goes above and beyond what's expected and makes a point of being inclusive with new students and those who are struggling. Other students respect Dylan and see him as a leader, so they follow suit. He approaches everything with community spirit and gladly takes the lead as needed. We at George Mean are so lucky to have had him as a student and he will be greatly missed. Congratulations to him. And our adult volunteer is Melissa Vaughn. Melissa volunteers many hours as a chaperone for field trips, picture days, hearing and vision screenings, book fairs, and many PTA activities. She volunteers in many of the classrooms, helping with art projects and classroom activities. Melissa personally informs teachers of positive and negative situations that occur on the playground during recess time, giving teachers much needed information to help address the situation. Maine staff know they can always depend on Melissa to be there with a helping hand when needed. We're blessed to have Melissa as a parent and a volunteer and a friend. Congratulations. <laughs> Next up is Milliken School and Bob Moss Prison. First up for me is Liam Ellerby. <laughs> Liam is the kind of student who makes teaching and even grading work a, pre a pleasure. He is well respected and a good role model. Liam has represented his class on student council and plays in the band, plays on the volleyball team, and is in safety patrol. Congratulations, Liam. You deserve to be recognized for everything you do tonight. Next up is Serena Bambi. <laughs> Serena is a top academic student who goes over and above, especially in project work. She is a student council rep and a natural leader. Serena plays in the school orchestra, plays on the flag football team, and plays volleyball. She has put in over 150 hours of volunteering and fundraising in the Santa Clara community. She has done work for the local homeless, Stanford's Children Hospital, and helped at the Santa Clara Unified Santa School District Farm for, the visually for visually challenged individuals. Serena is a great example of service to the school and to the community. Congratulations. <laughs> and our adult honoree is Don Ellery. Mr. Ellerby goes above and beyond in his service to Milliken School and community. He has served on the school site council for three years and is the site council president. Don is our community advisory committee representative at the district level, and as a NASA employee, he has done science and space presentations to our fifth graders for years. Don has run the backstage for the school's talent show year after year, and he's one of the lead parents for our safety patrol. And in his spare time, <laughs> Don runs the Box Tops for Kids program. Mr. Ellerby always has a smile on his face and is a role model for all of Millican students. Congratulations.
Next up is Montague Elementary School and Principal Ramos Arugan. And the first student honoree is Pearl Bland. <laughs> Pearl joined the Mustang community at the beginning of this school year. Prior to this school year, she lived in Hong Kong, where she was the captain of her dodgeball team. Pearl is trilingual and loves to help out and share what she has learned so far in her lifetime. Upon joining Montague School, she joined safety patrol and instrumental music. Outside of school, Pearl enjoys playing basketball, soccer, and the violin. She is a natural born leader and a role model for all. Congratulations. Next up is Annabelle Tai. <laughs> Annabelle Tai is a very caring student and wants every classmate to be as successful as she is. She is involved in many activities and these experiences allow her to share her knowledge with others. At school, she starts the day as a safety patrol sergeant, then moves on to her first grade reading buddies. She has been on the student, on the student psych council in our instrumental music program, playing the violin, and was recently involved in the Young, Young Authors Expo. Outside of school, she's involved in piano and violin lessons, and loves playing basketball with her older brother, and bike riding with her sister. She is one of those students who like to push learning beyond the limits. We wish her all the best for the future. Congratulations. And our adult uh, volunteer is Maria Godoy. <laughs> Maria is an amazing volunteer, parent, and community member who willingly and happily accepts any volunteer assignment that is needed in Montague. Maria volunteers daily as a new duty aide in a cafeteria as well as helping with other school needs such as picture day, vision screening, office organization, and maintaining the closed closet. She is a valuable asset that is well deserving of praise and recognition. We appreciate her time and commitment to Montague. Good listening. Set this Pomeroy Elementary School with Christy Chalfant, principal. And the first student on me is Jewel Ann Lagutino. It is with great enthusiasm and enthusiasm that we award Jewel Lagutino with this public school week award. Jewel is Pomeroy's Student Council Community Relations Coordinator. She has led many activities and fundraisers that helped our school and community. The annual food drive, candy cane candy uh, grain sales, and the Pennies for Patients campaign are just a few of the many things she has done so far this year. Jewel is also a member of our safety patrol and makes sure students are safe during uh, drop-off and pickup times. We appreciate Jewel's hard work and her dedication to Pomeroy. Congratulations. Next up is Sarah Fadek. As, uh, as Pomeroy's student council president, Sarah demonstrates through words and actions a positive attitude toward her school and the larger community. Sarah promotes citizenship through her involvement with many school activities and student council projects. She participates in the fifth grade safety patrol and helps launch the annual food drive. Sarah also helped lead the school's Pennies for Patients campaign, raising over $1,400 for cancer research and patient care. We are excited to award Sarah Plutt with this Public Schools a Week Award for outstanding service to our community. Congratulations. And our parent volunteer honoree is Roxanne Calvillo. <laughs> Roxanne has been a part of the Pomeroy community for the last nine years. 
She is super mom to four amazing children. From the moment she came to Pomeroy, she jumped right in, volunteering in any way possible. Over the last nine years, she's been a room parent, member of the PTA board, chaperoned almost all of her children's field trips, and shared both the Walkathon and Multicultural Festival multiple years in a row. Despite her busy schedule chauffeuring her children from sporting event to sporting event, she still continues to chaperone and volunteer at school events as much as possible. Thank you, Roxanne, for all the years you have put in to make Pomeroy a welcoming place for parents and students alike. Your time, positive attitude, and hard work have been greatly appreciated. Our next school is Ponderosa School with Principal Alyssa Meltzer. Our first honoree is Gian Leon. Gian is an outstanding student, a leader by example, and a great benefit to the Ponderosa community. In the classroom, she is someone who lives the motto that effort plus attitude equals success. Gian fully engages herself in, during lessons and then takes on that work with passion and energy, knowing that it has the power to make her stronger. In addition to being a fine student, Gian is also a contributing citizen. She served as school crossing guard, a primary playground coach, a writer on the school newspaper, a valuable member of the math Olympiad team, and a secretary on the Fall Student Council. GM has left a lasting mark on the Ponderosa landscape. Congratulations. <laughs> Next up is student Hannibal Stone. Hanako is a significant member of the Ponderosa community. She is often the first person to volunteer when there is a need. She has been a student council representative, served as student coach to younger students during recess, and helped new students by showing them around campus and making them feel welcome. Hanako also volunteers her time to help in the cafeteria and has served as a crossing guard in the mines. Hanako is kind, a responsible person who is out of her way to help all those around her. Congratulations. <laughs> and our adult volunteer honoree is Inval Demri. <laughs> Inval has been an active volunteer at Ponderosa Elementary School for over 10 years. As soon as her oldest son hit kindergarten, the staff knew she was going to be an amazing asset. In addition to volunteering in the classroom, Inbal chaired the Ponderosa English Learner Advisory Committee and then went on to chair District English Learner Advisory Council Committee at the district level. Inbal has also taken on several roles on our PTSA, including Executive Vice President. She has also helped to coordinate and teach Future Scientists and Engineers of America classes. Inbal is an intelligent, strong woman who has somehow made doing it all look easy. She's truly a superstar. <laughs> Next up is Scott Lane, Olympia School and Principal Priscilla Reza. <laughs> First student honoree is Natalie Nguyen. <laughs> Natalie is an integral member of our Scotland community. She personifies our school values. She is responsible. She is a PlayWorks junior coach where she participates in regular training that focuses on valuable skills like leadership, conflict resolution, inclusion, and community action. She is collaborative. She is a member of our student council where she works with peers to plan various activities. Natalie is enthusiastic and approaches everything she does with a smile and a positive attitude. When faced with challenges, she knows how to persevere. She is a member of our safety patrol, and even cold and wet days, Natalie helps with the crosswalk. She works hard, participates in class, and as a result, has attained academic achievement. 
Congratulations. Next up is student Aiden Torres Rangel. Aiden Torres Rangel has shown growth and leadership throughout his, this year. He models the school values on a regular basis. Aiden is an important member of our PlayWorks Junior Coach program, where he participates in regular trainings that focus on teaching and valuable skills like leadership, conflict resolution, and inclusion, and community action. He has become one of our most valuable, reliable students and is not afraid to ask for help when needed. Aiden is a good role model for the younger students and has made a difference on the playground and in the classroom. He has grown a lot this year and we're so proud of him. Congratulations, Aiden. Our adult volunteer, uh, Henri Maria Ramirez, could not make it, so we will move on to the next school which is Sutter and Principal Michael Fong. And our first student honoree is Giovanna Bierman. <laughs> Giovanna is one of the most caring students at Sutter Elementary School. She is always volunteering and helping her classmates. Her day consists of volunteering during her free time. In the morning, she comes to school early to set up playground equipment and put up the boundary cones. And she participates in safety patrol before and after school to keep our community safe. During the recess, Giovanna helps mentor and coach kindergarten students in the kindergarten play area. And on Friday mornings, she helps lead Froggy Friday assemblies. Sutter gladly recognizes her contributions and awards her this Public Schools Week Award. Congratulations. Sir. Next up is student Chugalu Noan. <laughs> Chugalu is one, is one of the most caring students at Sutter. She is, help, she is helpful and always volunteering. You can find her doing safety patrol each morning and afternoon to make sure our community is safe. Chugalu helps advocate for her classmates due to her involvement in student council. Every day after recess, she cleans up the lunch benches to help make sure our campus is clean. Besides her volunteerism, she has always a positive attitude and a super smile that lights up the room, and she is an excellent role model in academics. Trudelou recently represented Santa Clara Unified School District in the Santa Clara County Spelling Bee. Sutter recognizes her hard work and her contributions. This Public Schools Week Award is well deserved. Congratulations. Marlies is a fixture at Sutter Elementary School and has cheerfully been volunteering since 1998. Over 20 years of volunteering, in over 20 years of volunteering, she has seen her son Tyler graduate Sutter and college and has seen five principals. Over this time, Marlies has been PTA president twice, volunteered at events, helped in the classroom and on the playground, and is a project cornerstone reader and co coordinator. Marlies is the definition of, public, of what Public Schools Week Awards are all about and has earned this recognition. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next school is Washington Open and Principal Barbara Burnham. Student awardee is Mason Conklin. Mason is a wonderful, hardworking, and caring student. He is determined to do well and perseveres in learning. Mason has served in different community service groups like Safety Patrol and Student Leaders and has been described by past teachers as empathetic, thoughtful, kind, helpful, calm, and encouraging. Mason is such a good model for learning growth mindset, and for caring. He carries around a journal where he takes notes about each of our field trips and other things that he's learned. 
Mason is what we hope every Santa Clara Unified School student strives to become. Congratulations, Mason. Next up is student Willow Salgaard Stalin. Willow is a fantastic student and person. She is hard, she's a hardworking student who is consistently engaged and asks lots of clarifying questions. She loves writing stories and plays key roles in our yearly school play. Willow is, a very, is very respectful and shows appreciation to the parent volunteers in class daily by asking them if they need help. She's one of the kindest students you will meet. Willow has worked as a member of the Safety Patrol, Student Council, and a student leader on our playground to help other students mediate conflicts. Willow is a fabulous student and a fabulous human being. Congratulations. <laughs> and our current volunteer awardee is Lisa Coons. Lisa is a community-minded parent who supports Washington Open in a wide range of ways. She has been instrumental in leading the Project Cornerstone training for our entire school. She has also been the lead in our school site council and has served many years on our parent board. Lisa gears up each year to lead dozens of tours, and this may have been what inspired her to create a yearly water balance social in the fall as a, as a welcome to new parents. Lisa is constantly on the lookout for fantastic field trip tie-ins to curriculum and has chaperoned countless trips. Lisa is a stellar volunteer who gives endlessly to our school and our community. Congratulations. <laughs> Next up is uh, Westwood Elementary School and Principal Corey Gaffari. And our first student awardee is Nahom Emanuel. <laughs> Nahom Emanuel is an outstanding student and a terrific role model. He has demonstrated this through his hard work and determination to succeed. Whether it is as, a soft, as an officer in a safety patrol, a helper in preschool classes, or assisting other students in the classroom, Nahom is constantly demonstrating the values that it takes not only to be a successful student excelling in all academic areas, but a great example to others. A dedicated student who is constantly asking questions in order to remain a lifelong learner. Not only is and will continue to be successful. Congratulations. Our next student is Marley Martinez. Marley is a top student across the board, proficient in every subject. She is also a role model for her fellow students. Hardworking and determined, Marley takes on new challenges with confidence and a smile. As a leader inside and outside of the classroom, Marley devotes her time in the Westwood Safety Patrol in the rank of sergeant and gives up noon recess to help students in their Westwood preschool program. Marley was also selected to represent her classroom at the school district's 38th annual Young Writers Exposition and her biography, um, with her biography of Anne Frank. We're proud to nominate Marley Martinez for this award. And our parent volunteer is Laura Patton. Laura Cap is an amazing volunteer. She has stepped up to help in the classroom and beyond, chairing our annual fall festi festival for the last few years. She brings energy and drive to PTA meetings with her go-to get them and go get them attitude and her ability to think outside the box. With Laura at the helm, she, would con she could conquer the world and she will be missed as she moves up to middle school with her son. Congratulations, Laura. Next up is Don Kalajan School and Principal Eric Wooder. And our first student awardee is Siobhan Bagheram. 
Dunk is an intelligent student that is always eager for a challenge. He devours books and knowledge and shows leadership skills in all of his classes. Jvank has, a strong, has strong communication skills and is willing to talk in front of the class or the school. He has been a member of our student government and Don Calajon, has proven to be a great leader in a variety of activities. He reads the morning announcements every day and helps out by giving school tours to new students. Jvank's leadership has helped make Don Calajon a great school for all students. Congratulations. Next up is Sarah Yang. Sierra Yang. Sierra is known for being a very positive and enthusiastic learner. She puts 110% effort into her classes and seeks out feedback for how she can improve her skills. Sierra is always willing to help her peers in any subject area or task. She has been a leader in many school activities and community service projects at Don Calajon, such as dances, pennies for patients, and the can of food drive. Sierra has been on the student government for two years and reads the school announcements daily. Sierra has been a model student at Don Calajon. Congratulations, Sierra. <laughs> and our adult honorary is Cynthia King. Ms. Keene has gone above and beyond as a parent volunteer at Don Calajon School. She is a leader in our parent organization and consistently shows that she wants what's best for all students at our school. Cynthia found and implemented a new art program that is now being led by parent volunteers in all first through sixth grade classes. She has coordinated many school assemblies and started a school supplies fundraiser and services that was a big help to our parents at the beginning of the school year. Cynthia also led an initiative to paint four new murals at the school that have made a big difference in the environment. Overall, she is a model for the impact that a committed parent volunteer can have on all students in the school. Congratulations, Cynthia. <laughs> Next up is Boxer School and Principal Line of Our first student awardee is Amelia Howell. Um, on top of her service to ASB this year, Amelia Howell has done ex exceptional work as a web where every bobcat belongs, leader, taking extra time in this role to connect with and support sixth graders who are struggling socially. She is always ready and willing to help. All in all, Amelia is an example of servant leadership in action. She is an exceptional leader and an outstanding example of service and dedication at Boxer Middle School. Congratulations, Amelia. <laughs> Our next student awardee, award awardee is Sarabi Pandi. Besides being an outstanding web where every Bobcat belongs leader, Sarabi Ponte is involved with the BMS Leadership Class and the Engineering Club. In her spare time, Sarabi works with the local chapter of the Girl Scouts and enjoys competitive swimming. Sarabi Ponte is an ex outstanding example of leadership and service, a person who uses her talents to connect with younger students, making them feel a part of the community. Congratulations, sir. And our adult volunteer is Maria Olson. Maria Olson's name is synonymous with devotion to the community at Boxer Middle School. Maria has served as PTA president and this year made the transition over to Boxer School Site Council. Maria's insights as a parent have been very helpful in shaping our vision for the future of the school. All of this service, while living through relocation due to a home remodel. Goodness. Thank you for making our community a priority in your life. Um, she is truly valued by the Oxford Middle School community. Congratulations, Maria. Next 
Santos Cabrillo School and Principal Stan Garber. My name is Ed. And our first student honor is Jessica Gutierrez. <laughs> Jessica is amazing. She's an excellent student, ASB treasurer. Nobody on the board works harder than her. So, so she does more than sit on the school site council. She has something to say. Jessica is a star wiffle ball player at lunch, and she cares about feelings and opinions of others. She wants to grow up to be an ER doctor, and we think she's capable of doing it. Congratulations, Jessica. <laughs> Next up is student Dexter Mopano. Dexter is an excellent all-around student. He is very empathetic and knows just when a classmate is hurting. If they are hurting, he'll help them, whether it's with their schoolwork or a personal problem. Dexter gets his self-worth on making people feel better. He wants to grow up and become a professional volleyball player or dancer. Congratulations, Dexter. And our parent honoree is Gary Calfrey. <laughs> Gary Calfrey is our PTSA school treasurer because he's just good at keeping our books. But he's much more than that. Gary doesn't just get good ideas, but he follows through with them, like our screen major's parent night, or the technical machinery from his work that he donated to the school. He even went as far as donating a telescope for the school's silent auction. Gary is good enough to get a job working at Santa Clara Unified. <laughs> or even better. Congratulations. <laughs> Next up is Peterson School, an acting principal, and just all around good guy, Brad Simon. Our student honoree is Mason Barker. In only two years at Peterson, Mason Barker made a name for himself. This year, Mason is tutoring sixth grade students in Miami, and over the last two years, Mason has started two clubs, Dungeons and Dragons and Comic Creation. Mason enjoys computer programming and is a peer advocate who is always willing to help other students as needed. Mason has also adopted rescue kittens. Congratulations, Mason. Our next honoree is uh, Marina Lankova. Marina Mankova is a very helpful student. Each day she assists with serving food in the cafeteria, and she is helpful in class by teaching new students the routines and rituals of how Peterson operates. Marina is very positive and friendly, and she puts in a lot of effort into her work. She is not afraid to tackle new challenges. Marina loves animals and has a passion, uh, uh, and a passion of hers is horseback riding. Congratulations, Marina. And our adult honoree is Shannon Young. <laughs> Shannon Young has plenty of years under her belt as a volunteer. She has volunteered at the elementary, middle, and high school levels. There wasn't a day this year where Shannon's smiling face couldn't be found at Peterson. Her kindness, caring demeanor, and positivity are contagious. At lunchtime, she helps students organize and play games and she also organizes Project Cornerstone on the campus. Congratulations, Jim. <laughs> Next up is Mission Early College High School, a.k.a. MEX, with Principal Mike Stenner. <laughs> and our first student nominee is Julio Alcazar, Julio 
Tony Lauk desires an outstanding member of the Mission Early College community. He has been a faithful and committed PTAS, PTSA member for two years and has served as the, as the council secretary and student representative. Julio has also supported his fellow students by volunteering many hours to help and promote student game days sponsored by the PTSA. His big smile is matched only by his big generous heart, which makes him a pleasure and joy to know and work with. We thank Julio for his dedication and his service. Next up is student honoree, Justice Mitchell. <laughs> Justice Mitchell is not just an exemplary student, she's an exemplary human being. She is always happy to help volunteer her time serving in any way needed, whether in student leadership or in school communities. Justice has served the Mission Early College community in many capacities, such as this year's student school board representative and 2018 graduation ceremony MC. Her agreeable and personable demeanor, coupled with her kindness and compassion toward others, makes her a joy to know and work with, and we thank her for all her years of service. Congratulations. Medina O'Neill is an amazing person and is the unofficial member of the Mission Early College staff. Medina has supported our school not only as a parent, but as a partner with Mission College in her previous position as the Director of Student Health Services. Medina has volunteered on our PTSA, PTSA and is currently the Vice Chair of the School Site Council. Medina's support of the students is displayed in many ways as she is constantly providing information regarding opportunities for scholarships, academic support, community service, and wellness. Medina is a loyal and supportive ambassador for Middle River College High School, and we thank her for her years of service. <laughs> Next up is New Valley High School and Principal Antonio Vega. And our first student honoree is Melissa Williams. <laughs> Melissa has grown academically and personally since her arrival at New Valley. She has shown academic excellence since the very beginning and has taken on additional learning challenges. Melissa's teachers praise her for her intellect her insights and her contributions to the learning environment. Melissa is also known as a leader on the campus. This year, Melissa has embraced leadership responsibilities and taken part in planning, organizing, and carrying out student activities. Congratulations. And our adult volunteer awardee uh, is Lourdes Briones. Lourdes joined the New Valley School Site Council this year. During this time, she has provided outstanding guidance and perspective, which has enabled the school to advance in its instructional program. Ms. Briones has also taken an active role in supporting fundraising efforts for scholarships offered to New Valley graduates. Ms. Briones has distinguished herself among parents. She is a valued representative, supporter, and advocate of New Valley families. We appreciate her presence and your contributions. Next up is um, Santa Clara High School and its principal, Greg Shelby. And this girl, a Pledge of Allegiance girl, Sophia Pritchett-Fabulous. Sophia is the kind of student leader that every school needs. Unassuming, but in charge. Humble, but forceful. Fun-loving, but mission-oriented. 
Sophia has been a student council leader in all four years and currently serves as Santa Clara High ASD president. Sophia has been at the heart of each of the many student council changes, including organizing new activities that intentionally try to interest a greater variety of students and finding ways to honor students who have contributed to the school through their academic effort, community service, or education around diversity issues. She exemplifies what happens when compassion and thoughtfulness are combined with drive and persistence. And I have to tell you, knowing her family for these past number of years, it's in the DNA. Um, I want to thank you, Sophia. I also want to say thank you to your whole family for the years of service that you have in elevating the student experience at Santa Clara High School. Next student honoree is Vince Vallejo. Vince is the guy you want on your team. His quiet and unassuming nature initially masks the fact that he brings many intangibles to each group he works with on campus. His work ethic is admirable, and you can always count on him to be the first one to arrive and the last one to leave. His creativity, particularly his beautiful writing, enhances the projects of other students on a regular basis. His humility helps others to be able to shine. Thanks, Vince, for sharing your many talents and your kind spirit with the school. And our adult honoree is Rebecca Ferguson. Rebecca Ferguson has, in her few years at Santa Clara High, brought energy and enthusiasm to our parent community in a way that will have a lasting impact. Always the first to volunteer, you'll find Mrs. Ferguson in so many places around campus, whether it's leading a team of parents that prepared 600 hot dogs for incoming freshmen, organizing staff luncheons, or reinvigorating our athletic boosters. Thank you, Mrs. Ferguson, for treating every student on campus as if they were your own. Next up is Wilcox High School and Principal New Mom, Christine Gonzalez. And our first student, first student awardee is Gabrielle Gadzikowski. Right. It took me to the end of the evening, but I got it wrong. Gabe is affectionately known as the conductor at Wilcox High School. He conducts himself in a uniform manner. He makes sure his, his educational and career tracks are clear. His stations are clearly identified. His tickets are punched and that he's on time. He is always on the watch, alert, and strives to do his best. When asked about Gabe, his teachers describe him as gentlemanly, as I just found him, a joy to be around, consistent, noble, dependable, unflappable, creative, trustworthy, open-minded, resilient, and a rock star. Gabe, we thank you for all that you've done for physical education, after school sports, and for Wilcox as a whole. Congratulations. <laughs> Next up is student Carolyn Clubs. Carolyn is an outstanding leader on the Wilcox campus. She is a kind, conscientious, courageous, and fair young woman. She leads with grace and a steady hand in the face of adversity and goes above and beyond to include all chargers and reaches out to those that may go unheard. She has served on the Wilcox and Santa Clara community in many ways, including junior class president, ASB president, Varsity Song Palm Dance Team, California Girls State Conference, Leadership Santa Clara, and Santa Clara Youth Commission. There are great things to come from Ms. Caroline Close as she makes her way out into the world, and the Wilcox community will be cheering her on the whole way. And our adult volunteer is Caroline's older sister. 
actually Caroline's mother, Leslie Close. <laughs> Leslie Close serves as the Wilcox and Santa Clara Unified School District community in, in countless ways and through each role she takes on, she, each role that she takes on, she holds everyone accountable and keeps them on their toes. Her collaborative and thoughtful approach helps to guide and shape Wilcox and challenges to everyone to be their best and the best chargers they can be. Wilcox is forever grateful to her dedication to supporting our school and our students. Thank you, Leslie, for making sure that we never lose sight that students come first in all that we do. Congratulations. Next up is Wilson Dalton and Pam Galano, uh, principal. And our first student honoree is Juliana Garcia. And I'm going to say it the way my wife would say it. Juliana Garcia will go out of her way to help a fellow student, teacher, or animal in need. Her outgoing personality and empathy have helped her to gain the respect of her fellow students and Wilson's staff. Juliana is Wilson's go-to student for leadership and participation, as they know they can count on her for fall of year. She has recruited and led fellow students in extracurricular workshops and events. Every day that she is on campus, Juliana is a model of integrity, grit, and perseverance. For all of these reasons, Wilson is proud to nominate Juliana as a student recipient of the Public School Week Award. Congratulations. <laughs> and our adult honoree could not be present, uh, God, Mom, and So, uh, last, uh, on our last program to honor school is the Adult Education Program and Dr. Brenda Cardio. Our actual director, I should say. And our honoree is Nancy Fates, volunteer. <laughs> Nancy volunteers in the Family Resource Center, assisting with the food distribution program. In partnership with, our, with the Reaching Out Center, the program provides food once a month to, so, to socioeconomically disadvantaged families in our district. The program runs on volunteers, and without the dedicated help of people like Nancy, it would not reach the 100 families each month that it currently does. Nancy assists in the packing process, volunteering monthly to assemble the boxes, fill them with non-perishable food items, and prepare them for shipment and distribution. She greets families with a big smile and makes everyone feel welcome. That is no small matter in this program. Nancy is a great asset to the Family Resource Center, and we congratulate you, Nancy. <laughs> so guess what, everybody? We have reached the end of the program, and as we close tonight, I want to thank Santa Clara High School for hosting us, the students who like to play, Sophia. And the choir for the City of Miss Clark's Mental Banner. The Santa Clara High School Music Ensemble for providing the music in the entry. They were really good. Our District Council Deep's PTA volunteers for helping tonight. And again, the school principals and the staff who couldn't do it without all of us. Thank you all for being here tonight and wish you a safe trip home. Thanks so much.